congratulations on the win after sort of stumbling out the gate. How does it feel to get your first UFC win? Um, I feel so good. Um, I was sure of the the performance. Follow, just follow the plan, and the plan was win. So I'm happy, but was the result. Talk to us about the difference as opposed to say stepping in the octagon for the first time in your first fight compared to now. Were there a lot less octagon jitters or anything along those lines? Comment tu te sens à ton deuxième combat? Tu te sens mieux qu'à ton premier combat dans l'octagon? We talk about UFC fight, sure. Yeah, it's my second one. It's pretty sure I feel better this time because the first one I took was a short, uh, was short, notice. short notice in like 10 days and so mm -hmm. I passed four days uh, medical test and uh, inter interview interview and the last days of the preparation was the cut weight so this time yeah I was prepared I got nine weeks of, of training camp I got my manager he followed me all my fight until the most far country of the world so thank you Stefan and my partner Nordin follow me too here is really far and he trained me in, in Thailand before to come here so thank you Nordin thank you all my my fans my my training partner at Quebec Montreal TriStar my family they support me uh, until Mexico and uh, thank you all guys in this fight, you looked phenomenal pretty much from the get-go. You mentioned how in your last fight, you only had 10 days to prepare. Do you feel like we saw the true Jonathan Meunier in this fight? And you, you sort of showed the crowd what you had. Yeah, for sure. I, I was me. The last time, uh, the people don't know, but I was just finishing two, two other fights. So I take a short notice after two fights in, in one month. So at the result was three fights in 60 days. is not normal. <laughs> so. <laughs> So this time, yeah. That, that's um, my fault. No, no, it's not his fault. <laughs> well, what was the way to step in the UFC? To deserve uh, the, the UFC? Deserve him? The, the, yeah, to deserve him, they enter with a short notice to um, Pauli Sauvé, to, say, to save him. And uh, the opponent, too, well, was a really different opponent. was a, a wrestler, left, a Salpa, Salpa wrestler. So this is really different. Um, we are um, habitués. Used to. We used to to fight and spar at the train at the at the gym. This this uh, Richard Walsh today was an orthodox orthodox fighter and MMA fighter complete complete at all. But orthodox with ten months is is cool. It's okay. <laughs> Do you sort of want to keep the momentum going? You've got this great win. Do you want to take another fight soon or? Time. Um, or do you sort of want to take a bit of a break now that you've had all these back-to-back -back fights, maybe recuperate um, and work on yourself? Okay, no, no, no break to train. Uh, I got a reputation. I'm always at the gym, a nerd of the of the training room, of uh, the gym. So, but for 2006, uh, 2016, uh, I think it's okay for fight in in one years. So I step in Doctor Gun another time. I think like in February or March, something like that.